This weekend we got our first look at designs and behind the scenes and interviews for Wit Studios One Piece anime. So so far, it's looking really, really strong. We got a lot of material, um, as well as the behind-the-scenes interviews that we got that really showed how much passion and care is going into this product. Obviously, this also means that whenever Wit Studios starts actually publishing each episode, we're going to have two One Piece animes running in tandem, which is crazy to think about. But it is really cool with One Piece getting so much new material lately and bringing in new fans through the live action to be able to also give the people who have started the series for the first time an entryway into getting a more in-depth look to the series and one that's closer to the source material in case they don't want to visit the manga, though many new fans are. Many of the people who are working on this project are people who've worked on some really iconic stories. Um, some that I'm familiar with and that I've watched are Spy Family and Attack on Titan. I was so happy with those two adaptations. I mean, I'm still watching Attack on Titan. I've only finished season one, but uh, I was so happy with what I've seen of both of those adaptations because they were so loyal to the source material. And especially with Attack on Titan, it was very, very loyal, and the places where it did diverge, uh, it was either to pull certain scenes forward, which then added more emotional gravity because we had more attachment earlier on to certain characters, or it was to elaborate or reinforce certain themes or even just let certain tragedies really breathe a little bit longer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll discuss it soon. But a lot of those people that worked on those other products that I really felt did a good job of understanding the source material and adapting it well are working now on this project too. And uh, I pulled some quotes from the behind the scenes interview. The interview will be linked in the description if you haven't watched it already. You definitely should. Uh, but I pulled some quotes. We have some of the storyboard concepts and art that we can look at as well and just kind of talk about what we know so far and how it's looking it's looking really good. We're just going through trial and error to see how the end product would look better. What we see in this interview is that they have spent a ton of time in picking at and tweaking and playing with this artwork to the best of their ability to make it as great as they can. They're spending a tremendous amount of time and effort to make it as good as possible. They have a large staff and are going through many, many renditions to really breathe as much life into this project as they possibly can. Some of the early close-ups that we get of the characters just hunkered down, smiling at each other, or in the more iconic poses and scenes, as well as character sketches where we have the character that's colored and finished at the in the forefront, and then in the background we have them in their many different angles and faces and emotions, and you can tell that they've really put a lot of care into making sure that they understand the emotions and expressions that these characters are going to experience throughout the series, and wanted to show us that they've taken the care to look at that as well. Honestly, I think each of these character designs look extremely loyal to the characters. You can see that they have a lot of the more over-the-top expressions that are going to be necessary when we do things like backstories, especially in Sanji. I feel like his emotional range is absolutely everywhere, which it should be. And even in the character designs that you might expect to change a little bit, like Usopp and Nami, it looks like they're trying to be extremely loyal to Oda's designs. Like with Usopp, I thought his skin tone seemed far too light, but then I started looking through the color spreads, and it does look like they're choosing to be closer to Oda designed him over Toei's designs. Same with Nami. Instead of choosing to give her a ribcage and internal organs, they decided to go with Oda's design. I really like this design right here with the jagged teeth and the angry eyes. Oh goodness, Nami, you are wild. And then more detailed designs that we also got, like Buggy in his iconic introduction scene. We have some very significant scenes from the beginning of the series, like from Zoro's introduction, Zoro's backstory. Oh my goodness, I love this image of him and Kuina. Usopp and Kaya in Surat Village. We actually got a lot 
from Surat Village, plenty from Baratier as well with Sanji uh, in his introduction with no censorship as well as some of his major scenes. We even get more buggy, one from him and Shanks as kids, and one of him getting chop-chopped by Zoro. And the detail in these, I know these are just storyboards and everything is gonna look different in animation, but the detail here is beautiful. They were incredibly diligent with these character designs. In the interview, they talked about how from the very uh, early stages of creating the character designs, uh, they would call the team in and have them study each design. And it was, it, the, the expectation was don't hold back, be as mean as you need to be, just give me feedback, tell me what feels off, tell me where I need to hone things and work on things. And they went through many iterations and spent a lot of time on this to make sure that they could get these designs as as close to Oda's vision as possible. As they talked through that interview, it seemed like they had a really good balance of really closely studying Oda's art style and wanting to honor that, but also wanting to use that as their creative launch board so that they could also bring it to life with their unique style kind of tangled in there too. Just the same, they put so much care into the setting. Another quote, from the interview. One Piece is an adventure, more of a road adventure. When I go to this town, I try drawing things that are hard to draw on comic frames carefully. An example would be how these people in this town, among others, how these characters have feelings, how they themselves are living. Oda Sensei has a really thought out plan, so our task is to unfold it and make it in a drawing. And then later said, I'm working with care. Like I said, they really studied Oda's art down to the finest details and tried to figure out how to replicate that with their style. Every department that they showed down to background designs seemed so passionate about the work and wanted to put everything into details that by many will go overlooked but are important to them to bring to life and to give the proper honor that the series deserves. They made a point to to build individual, very minute details down to the food and the different type of, types of cups Kaya would have, to the furniture and the little details that will go unnoticed. They drew out entire rooms and all the details inside those rooms, even things that are hidden inside cupboards or behind doors. Even built out rooms that are not really seen but are essential for the characters and the tiny little details that go with that as well. We we get glimpses of things like inside of Laboon, very detailed and thought out artwork for swords. Even things were thought out like how much of a village would be made up of farmers, fishermen, dairy farmers, characters that are going to be in the background of scenes, and details that are going to be so small, but every piece is drawn from cover stories or from realistic elements that make sense. They even went so far as to create a 3D recreation of Fusha village so that they could reference it as they're building out the city in their drawings. The town looks so full and alive with so much attention to detail. You can tell they're really going to take their time to build out a culture unique to each island as the series displays it. In the interview, they talked about how they hired a lot of young staff, people who have grown up with this series, loving this series, and it has so much nostalgia for them, and now they're working on it, and how each day they have so much passion and excitement to be working on this project. They also talked about how they're putting a special emphasis on things that the story does incredibly, things like themes, backstories, and humor. Another quote, I feel like the goal of expanding the root of One Piece is the same for both studios. I feel like we're Nakama. I love this quote because I love the respect that they're showing for the studio that's already been adapting the series for many years. Uh, a lot of people talk about how WIT Studios can improve the One Piece anime by doing things differently than what Toei has done, which is fine, but I just really appreciate that, that, that in this interview they're placing a large amount of respect on the artists that have come before them rather than thinking that they're going to replace them or outdo them. Their goal seems to be more along the lines of, we want to give this story a fresh look and a fresh rendition and a fresh style in addition to the artists that have been working on this for so long before us. 
really the entire project from what we've been able to see looks like they're putting an incredible amount of care into the project and like it's something that they truly truly care about and I'm so excited to see more of it. This is still very early stages of information that we're getting. We still have a lot more information yet to see before we really know what kind of product we're getting. We still need to see what they're going to do with the more quiet moments, um, like the, the more slice of life parts of One Piece that get a little bit of time to shine in between major moments. Trailers will be coming down the road. Uh, soundtracks are going to make a huge difference. The voice actors are going to make a big difference. I seriously doubt they're going to hire the same voice actors. One, because the ones that have been working with Toei have been doing it for so long. I don't, I doubt that they would want to sign on to say, yes, we'll continue doing this for another many, many decades. A lot of them probably want to rest eventually. <laughs> and plus, working on two major One Piece projects at once would probably be a lot. So while getting new voice actors will make a lot of longtime fans very sad, I think it's probably necessary for this project. So we'll need to see what the new voice actors sound like, see what kind of details they are going to expand on and change. They made a a, a point to say that they're not touching scenes like the Nami hat, hat pass off, but what scenes are they, go are they going to touch? What scenes are they going to expand on or shift a little bit? Personally, I would love to see them uh, as their filler material, quote unquote filler material, to see them adapt the cover stories that are canon, that are plot relevant. It would be great to see Buggy's adventures <laughs> after he's defeated in Orangetown actually brought to life as an in-between arc little side story. There's a lot more details that will go into this to make it great, but for what we've gotten today, I'm very excited. What do you think so far? Does this project look cool to you? Are you gonna watch it when it comes out? I definitely am, but I think that's quite clear. I would love to hear more from you of what you think about it. I'll see you again soon, bye.